What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your man to fire himself half pint once again. Today, I just want to say good job, congratulations. Everything is done nice and well. Okay, let's not get out of proportion here. But I just wanted to say good fucking job, Studio Foe. A couple reasons for this, but the, the main thing is, um, I don't know if you guys have been keeping up with what Studio Fo has been doing for the past couple of months, okay? After the long, dry drought that we had this summer of just no, no content, except for the gallery mode, but uh, okay, right? It was something to hold us over. And there was barely any information that was coming out. Everything seemed kind of vague at the time. Uh, and it was very sparse when these updates were going to be coming out. And then I, I made a video addressing this saying, hey, what's going on? We even missed entire Dev Diary 1 of the months. Not only did Studio Fo come out, apologize, say they need to do better, this is also how we aim to do our updates in the future as well. They released the next uh, game update, which was awesome. And while I was MIA for the duration of two months, they released two dev diaries and two Q&A sessions, which were all still bombshells from the, the span of October to December. <coughs> And inside of this month, just yesterday, they released another dev diary, and it was just chock full of so much inside of there. They, numerous times now, they have gone and interviewed the developers and tried to see what they were doing and uh, put some insights so people can get an idea of what's going on behind the scenes. And I just want to say, good job, Studio Foe. Granted, it was that was some stuff I had for like suggestions, you know, I wasn't actually expecting those to come to fruition. I wasn't saying this is what you need to do. It's like this is just a pure suggestion or an idea of how to uh, have some good communication. Needless to say, they've excelled at it. Where When it seems like it's not the most important thing ever, they've just gone above and beyond to the point where most indie and AAA game studios in general can't seem to nail good game communication and they've just knocked it out of the park. Okay, like the, the amount of like transparency we've had going on behind the scenes, this is what's happening. And the amount of most recent communication, just how much they're, they're out and being vocal and talking about things. I just want to take the time to say, good job Studio Fo. I, I give you guys the criticism when I feel like you guys need the criticism and I want to give you guys the fair um, praise when you need it as well. And this is definitely one of those times. You've stuck your neck out there, and you're trying to show people behind the scenes, this is the project that you guys backed, uh, and we want to make sure that you guys understand fully what's going on, what our schedule is, what we're aiming to do, what our wants are, what our needs are, and what's feasible and what's not feasible. What we want to do but might not be possible, we'll have to see. Like, they, they've literally laid everything on the line. This is what we're thinking. Like, the transparency, I, I can't say that enough. Transparency. Nailed it. So if, if you have, like, just a check mark box like just right here just put it down right you nail transparency y yeah you nailed transparency good job you nailed uh, the frequency of communication good job you nailed just d d being friendly with your community what's what's the word with that the friendliness Fr d niceness um Overwhelmingly positivity? I don't know. They did a good job. They did a spectacular job. Um, so I just want to say, congratulations, Studio Fo. You've done some good, and just I, I don't want to just talk about the communication. I also want to talk about the dev team because also what we've seen from the dev post about the um, what the developers are doing. It seems like they, they are, they're actually listening to the feedback that we've given them and they're addressing specifically the pain points of the game and they're going they're they're working hard to get a lot of those problems that we have adjusted as soon as possible. They've even given some time frame saying this is something that we're working on which will not be seen in the next update. This is a priority that we'll be seeing as soon as possible. This is something that people have been talking about quite a bit and so we want to do this as soon as possible. We don't know when it's going to be done, etc, etc. And it's great to hear that. And it's also just awesome to hear just the different things that they've been um, aiming to have within the game. Also, some things they want to kind of keep a secret, which is fantastic. We should keep things a secret when it comes to game development because it's nice to hear some surprises every once in a while. You've done some good job, you've done some good work, and I think it is time to give you guys some praise, especially after the last video I had out. Hmm. I'm not gonna lie, like, the main reason why people probably think I'm making this video is because A, uh, the last video I had, um, was a little harsh 
on the studio, which I'm going to be honest, I don't think it was too terribly bad. You know, I could have listed more pros inside of that video, so I could have been a little bit more fair with the pros and the cons. But at the end of the day, I think everyone realized, you know, it, it, was, it was tough love. You know, I, I only said the things and I only said the cons as many as I did in there. So I could say, hey, you know, here's the fair criticism. So you guys know that you're hearing what the feed, what the community is thinking feedback wise. And I think what should be addressed. And I think that's it's nice that we said that. But at the same time, I think it is as equally as fair to give the praise when it needs to be heard because these guys are working damn hard. Um, when you go into the different forum threads and Discord servers, yeah, people are nice a lot, but it's, it's also overwhelming when a new release comes out and you just hear, this is messed up, this is broken, this is bad, change this. So it's like every once in a while, let's just hear the good job. You guys did good. Speaking of which, this one's for the boys. And girls. I think if there's any girls in the studio, I don't know. I just say the boys. You, you, for this video, you can be one of the boys, TM. Like we got you, we got you. And today we're drinking a cold one for double. Is that actually a green beer? Are you for real? This is actually a green beer. This is actually a green beer. This one's for the boys at Studio Fo. That is a disgusting beer. Mmm. Terrible. This is just so bad. No, I, I just don't, don't, mm. no one should ever get this. Don't, just don't drink anymore. You are just crazy if you just keep drinking this kind of beer. I just want to get that out there because, uh, I don't know. It, it, it's been quite a year for Studio Fell. Probably a lot of ups and downs between, you know, they had the release. They've had some um, moments in uh, recent history that, haven't really gone their way. Um, we need Chinese as one of them. I know I was MIA, but I kept my ear to the ground the entire time. I was there, I was there. But I thought it was just as important to go ahead and give you guys the, the thumbs up, the good job. A lot of us are still out here looking out for you and you guys are doing some damn good work at the studio, slaving away, trying to make this game a reality. Now, that being said though, this does not change that in the future, I will continue to be truthfully honest with my critiques and give you guys the cons when it needs to be heard. I will continue to give me, you guys my pros, my cons, and my suggestions. I, sometimes I call them solutions, but I just, want, I just want to make that perfectly clear, especially for a lot of like subscribers that don't know this. I don't have like a, I, I don't like control the game because people seem to think that YouTubers have like immense power over games. That's just not the case. I have pros, I have cons, and I have suggestions, which most of which probably won't make it to the final game, and that's perfectly fine. It's more of just to get the brain gears working for everybody, or maybe some ideas do stick. We don't know. That's the whole purpose of that. Last video is a good example. Side tangent, by the way. It is crazy to me, of all these subversive videos I have ever made, the one video that finally gets an official comment from the Studio Foe <coughs> YouTube channel was that video and Tipper commented and just today Samantha Flowers commented on the video like What I like this 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 video which is having like an average performance compared to my other subverse videos and had like the most criticism and the least amount of editing of a majority of my forget the review the least amount of editing this video got everyone's attention huh I don't know maybe it's because it's the first subverse video I've made in like a long time they're all like come back we need you <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. There's the random side tangent. But again, another part of communication. Pretty cool to hear from Studio Fo in that regard as well. So it goes to show that your guys' comments and YouTube videos down below, they do matter. They do get read. YouTube comments, if you go on their Discord server or if you go on their uh, new form that they put up, they read all that sort of stuff. So if you want to feel like you're being heard, they, they, Type in any of those. They have great community managers and they're always keeping their ear to the ground. So Keep it coming guys. They do love to hear from you. That's all I got for you guys. Um, hopefully everyone is gonna be enjoying a great uh, Holiday coming up. We have Christmas just around the corner. I think it, it's this week. Holy cow Christmas Christmas is this week So hopefully everyone has a uh, happy holidays a Merry Christmas and all that good stuff And I'm also kind of hoping that uh, people at Studio Foe, please Take a break. With that being said though, everyone else, I hope you also have a Merry Christmas and I hope to see you guys quite a bit in the uh, 
Well, I would say the new year, but I have quite a few more uploads to come out this year, so we'll be looking forward to those as well. Thank you all for watching Long Time and a Hard Time, and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. Dude, IPAs are disgusting. Oh, fuck.